Hi, you're watching Amitza TV, the place to create furniture and a home that you love. I'm really excited that these terrible winter doldrums are almost over and I'm really looking forward to the spring. So today I wanted to share with you some of the spring trends for 2014 and really the trends that you're going to see all year long in home decor. Now if you follow me, you know how I feel about trends. I love trends, I love participating in them, but my rule of thumb is your home should never look like any one particular trend, but rather a collection of pieces and times and eras and generations and real eclectic mix of all the things that you love. But this year, some of the trends are really uh, very beautiful, very inspiring, and a real nod to classicism. We're going back to some ideas of classicism, elegance, formality, so a lot of these trends are things that you're going to really look forward to jumping on the bandwagon. So come along as I share with you some of the great things you're going to be seeing all throughout 2014. So a big color trend you're going to be seeing this year um, is a radiant orchid. I blogged about it earlier this year. This beautiful, gorgeous radiant orchid, it's a lavender, deep lavender color, is really going to be on the design scene this year. Now, if you remember last year, I talked about pink really coming into design, and I was so glad to be a little bit ahead of the curve, but you're going to really see that color coming in again this year. You're going to be seeing a lot of lavenders, pinks, corals making their way in through spring, summer, and even the fall. And I love these colors. These are great colors, and especially if you really love the blue, gray, beige, gray trend, these are great colors to add into your home decor and really give it a pop of color and colors that we love to live with. And speaking of color, two other colors you're really going to see this year are going to be black and all shades of deeper blue color tones. We've seen a lot of the lighter blues, but we're really going to be seeing a lot more of the blacks and the deep blues. Again, a nod back towards formality and a little bit more of a sharper contrast. You'll be seeing that in upholstery fabrics and pillow fabrics and bedding, along with really beautiful, sophisticated patterns like chevron patterns and geometric patterns. And I love these sort of patterns. They tend to lean a little bit more formal, crisp, modern. But when you mix them in with florals and um, more vintage inspired patterns and shapes, they really help keep your home looking timeless and elegant and bring in both the old and the new. So look for those color trends all throughout this year. Another big trend that I'm really excited about is crystal. Crystal has come back in a big way. We can barely even keep it in stock in our store and you're gonna really see it everywhere. From sconces to candelabras, chandeliers, and even crystal geodes and accessories on boxes. Crystal is everywhere and it is hot. This is a trend that I personally really love. I have a lot of crystal that I've acquired over the years from the time I got married to all the way from now where I collect as I go along on my antique trips. And these are great additions to your home that you can really bring in some formality and add a layer of elegance onto a lot of those rough luxe textures that we've been seeing for a long time. So even a simple crystal vase with some fresh peonies or hydrangeas really just adds a pop of elegance to your home. So I'm really excited about this crystal trend. It's definitely something that I'm ready to embrace and would love to see in a lot more design projects this year. And the, the designs that we're seeing are very beautiful. They're not overly stuffy. There's the perfect balance of elegance and the beauty of crystals. So, you know, crystal is one of those things that it may go in and out of trend, but it never goes out of style. Speaking of crystal, we're seeing a lot more glam this year in home decor. We're moving a little bit away from the relaxed, kind of shabby chic inspired um, textures and um, design in the home decor that we've been seeing. And this year you're going to see just a little bit more formality. You're going to see it in the textures like the crystal and the shapes such as the stripes, the chevron pattern. You're going to see a little bit more of a tailored, crisper, sharper look. And that's going to trickle down in, in all aspects, in accessories, lighting, fabrics, and even the shapes of the furniture themselves. This year, you're going to be seeing a lot of pewter. The metal of the year is pewter. We've gone from gilt to brass, to now pewter, and I love pewter. Pewter is this really beautiful, smoky, silver uh, material, and it has a lot more 
depth and a shadowy finish. Um, it's not as bright as some of the other silver tones like polished nickel and chrome. And it's a very gorgeous metal that you can mix in with other metals as well as decorative objects in your home. One of my favorite things to do is mix it with creamware on walls. You can easily take a collection of pewter plates and mix them in with creamware to create a really beautiful look and feel. And it also goes really well with a lot of vintage paintings because of the patina on the paintings. The paintings themselves tend to have a lot of graying and yellowing and so that's what adds to that character and beauty of those paintings. And when you just add in a painting layered with some pewter maybe in your kitchen or your library bookshelves, areas where you have open bookshelves and you want to create some interest and depth, this metal is going to really add a lot of beauty into your home. It's probably something I'm going to be putting into my own home. As you know, I'm working on my kitchen renovation and there is a place where I've designed to hopefully add a few plates and I'm hoping to really bring in pewter and creamware into this area. You're going to be really seeing a lot of this throughout the year. Mark my words, you're going to love it. It's going to trickle all the way down into holiday decor. You're going to see it also with ribbons and Christmas ornaments later this year. And it's something that I'm really excited to bring into home decor because we've been kind of on a gold trend for a really long time. Painted furniture is still going strong. I know many of you kind of have a love or hate relationship for paint or you're a little bit confused on or painted furniture or you're a little bit confused on how to incorporate it into your home. But it's really a trend that's been going strong for a while and I don't see it dying down anytime soon. We have still had so much more interest in painted furniture and really bringing painted furniture in. A lot of people are not starting from scratch. They're not furnishing a home from the ground up and they're working pieces in with trends from last year and five years ago and 10 years ago when beautiful heavy wood tones were really popular. So, you know, my suggestion is to always mix a few pieces in. I love to have in any project painted pieces, wood tone pieces, metal pieces such as iron or brass or gilt and really make those pieces shine. If you've got a house full of stained furniture and you add a little bit of painted furniture, that contrast is what makes the pieces that you love more special or vice versa if you love painted furniture and you really want that painted furniture to shine think of what kind of materials and textures that you can use to contrast such as a dark wood floor or some really rough textures in your flooring things like that or the paint color or adding in perhaps if you were using this buffet maybe a wood stained dining table or this might be in your bedroom as a dresser you could use a wood stained piece for your nightstand so always consider how to mix i know it's one of the biggest questions that i get asked and i'll be sure to share an infographic with you on that soon but really it's a trend that's going strong and it's, these are pieces that add that interest to your home and if you've already got pieces that you can't get rid of remember we now have our new furniture paint line where you can buy the paint and repurpose an existing piece so you're not just starting from scratch all over again and last but not least a really fun trend that i like to look for each season is kind of the animal of the season last season it was the deer and this year it is the duck or the swan we are seeing so many swan and duck accessories all throughout the shop and customers are clamoring for them i think they're just a very beautiful graceful animal and the the lighter finish on them because they tend to be white or gray or beige really go into a lot of different types of decor like bookshelves on top of a table in a foyer or as a planter so this year the rage has been, and it's probably gonna be going into the spring and summer, ducks and swans. I hope you enjoyed this video on this year's trends. It's always much more fun to go shopping and be on the lookout when you kind of know what the trends are for the year, and it makes it just a little bit more exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share with a friend, or leave a comment. And I look forward to seeing you the next time you come around the shop. Cheers.